Thank you for joining the Author Spotlight Show. My name is Gail Watson, founder and CEO of Women's Speakers Association and WSA Publishing, a place that is dedicated to sharing and promoting the gifted messages of women in over 120 countries. When we open our hearts to the world and lead with empathy, we are unstoppable. And we love to shine the spotlight on inspiring women who are transforming the lives of those around uh, around them through loving, dedication, and compassion. By sharing our personal struggles and challenges, uh, these brave women reimagine the boundaries of what is possible and come to conclusion that their potential of their influence in this world is limitless. So today, I have the proud honor of introducing to you four-time best-selling author, co-author of Voices of the 21st Century, Conscious Caring Women Who Make a Difference. Please welcome Tracy Eman. Thank you for having me, Gail. Awesome to have you, of course. Um, we go way back. Uh, you have a, a tremendous story. If people uh, don't know your story, uh, they really do need to get to know you. And um, so please share with us, you know, a little insight to your story and what inspired you to share it. All right. Well, I am uh, a cancer thriver. I was diagnosed 11 years ago. And through that process, um, you know, while going through treatments, I actually was growing my business. I tripled my business uh, while I was going through chemo treatments. And well, for me, that felt like what I needed to do to get through it. I needed to, you know, embrace whatever normalcy I could have. Um, it it kind of kept me sane. Uh, it allowed me to control what I could control and uh, to let the others just kind of just be and then and then move forward. Um, what I found is that people, friends and family would have people contact me who are going through similar things. and. While I didn't necessarily feel my story was inspiring anybody or anybody needed to hear it, what I found was there's always going to be one person out there that needs to hear your story, somebody that can relate to something that you're going through that maybe is going to make all the difference in the world. That smile that someone gives you when you need it more than you could ever say, and you just don't know, and we don't want to deprive people of, of any inspiration that they might, they might need in their lives. I love that because what your journey started off as, uh, in terms of, you know, really drawing out those, those, the silver lining of cancer, you've, it's really morphed into something greater and it's about that power of an individual's message. So as somebody's reading your story in this book, you know, what do you really want readers to take away? I would love readers to take away that their messages, their stories, their struggles, their triumphs, they all matter. They matter to you and they matter to other people who want to be, they want to see that hope. They want to see that silver lining. And in, in my chapter, I talk about how that sharing of my story in the first book, the first voices of the 21st century has morphed into a, a really booming um, podcast called Silver Lining Conversations, because what I found is that everyone I talked to had a story and everyone was just, I don't know, just a little reluctant to maybe share it. And being able to draw that out of them and, the, and how cathartic it was for them and for the, the listeners has been such such a, a joy and a pleasure for me to share. That's awesome because this really has been a personal passion project. I mean, you are known as a, a social media expert supporting uh, people in their businesses, uh, partnering in their business and their success. And um, as you have done with Women Speakers Association as well. So thank you very much. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so this passion of yours and really capturing the strength of your message. I mean, 
it, you've you've created this podcast. You're I, I believe you're working on another book to gather more stories. How is it also showing up in your life today for you personally doing these interviews? What I've found is that you know how you 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 find someone asks you what your superpower is, and although I never thought that would be the case. I think my superpower is being able to interview people, being able to provide them with a safe place where they're allowing themselves to share. And just, there's just something about it. I, I truly am just filled with joy every time I get that opportunity to, to draw a story out of someone, to allow them that comfort and to just be able to share those silver linings. Yeah, I, I, I agree with what you're doing. You're, you're changing people's lives. I mean, I hear it from many people, just how you're able to draw out their stories. You're an excellent interviewer. And I love that you're on this road to collecting those stories and and letting people know your story does matter and it does make a difference whether it's just one person that hears it uh, this book i've always um believed you know your silver lining of cancer your various stories and voices of the 21st century now you have four books under your belt <laughs> um where can we get a copy of one of your books, if not all. So if you go to the silver lining of cancer.com, you can get a copy of the book there of any of the books. And you can also go to Amazon, obviously, and pick up your copy or contact me directly through the website. I also would love for you to come and listen to these stories. So please check out uh, silver lining conversations podcast.com. Silver lining podcast.com silver lining Lining. conversations Conversations. podcast.com perfect (laughs) yeah and it's available on on any um any of your favorite platforms any podcast platforms you will find it there awesome it is a very popular uh moving um podcast so please go check out those stories so tracy you're exposed to so many women and so well men and women their stories and um you hear so much i mean from all of this from maybe it's from your journey or just going through and exploring others journeys what words of wisdom would you like to leave with us today i would say embrace your memories make those memories and embrace your memories because we don't know how long we're going to be here we don't know how long uh what life is going to throw our way but what we can do is make memories and and share them oh i love that that's awesome thank you so important time is precious yes for sure well thank you tracy thank you for all that you do Thank you for, I remember going back five years now and you taking the first step to sharing your story and that overcoming that first hurdle of, of doing that. <laughs> and now you're expanded and growing and helping others take their first step in sharing their story. So that's magical. So thank you for doing that. Truly my pleasure. Yeah. Okay, and to everybody listening, I want to thank you for joining us today. And please order your copy of this book now. Uh, We look forward to connecting with you again on the Author Spotlight Show. Thank you.